Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how to import jar files in your Android Studio environment. So let's begin. So I'll create a very simple, uh, just a dummy app environment. So say for example, import jar file and finish. I'll wait for my environment to load up. In the meantime, I'll also like to show you that I have already downloaded few jar files. So this is basically to include the JDBC driver in your environment. So let's wait for our environment to load. So yeah, environment is loaded up. So first I'll show you there is one way to include or load or uh, uh, get the dependency in your environment is by going to the Gradle file and in the dependency routine over here by including the required uh, whatever the libraries you need by the using this implementation method. So this directly synchronizes your uh, Android Studio environment with the respective repository say for example Maven. Okay. But over here, we will try to see how we can include a jar file directly in your environment and not to do, go through the uh, Gradle uh, or the implementation perspective. Now here, first I will try to show what basically I am trying to do. So, so there is an API called Oracle Data Source. So this is a particular um, API or a particular class which Let's you include uh, create a Oracle data source from the I think uh, it's from uh, Oracle JDBC uh, libraries or uh, jar file. Okay, so right now if you see Oracle data, okay, I think it will not prompt automatically because yeah. Let me first compute this. So right now you can see these are dead, and if you hover over it or if you try ask for the hints, it just says we have to create the class. It, there is no option to import a class because the default libraries which are there in your environment does not have this particular class uh, defined. So what we will do is we will those classes are defined in this uh, jar files the uh, uh, JDBC drivers. So I'll include this in our project. So let's see what we have to do. First you can just or you can just copy it everything. Okay select all the jar files copy it. Come back to your Android Studio environment and change it to project view. So project and over here just expand this and in your libraries either you do control V or right click and paste it's same thing and it will ask you where to paste the specified files click OK and if you expand you'll see all the jar files whatever we have copied are included over here. No still uh, by adding these files by default it will not take those classes because if you still see uh, our class or objects are not being identified. So for that what we can do is we can just select all the jar files of the jar files which you need right click and there is an option co called add as library and here it will ask you to which particular module you want to implement or add. So <coughs> this particular uh, module name is whatever the name of your app is import jar files it's same click ok and wait for the gradle to synchronize it may take uh, a while uh, so its process is almost similar uh, either you do in the gradle over here or you do it directly over here so if you notice by doing that it has is the environment itself is adding these lines and synchronizing your gradle to make sure that these jar files are added you can also type this manually but i think this is more elegant manner uh, how you can do it now you can come back to java files you can see still this uh, classes are not identified so but what you can do is you can just hover over it and now if you see it's giving you an option whether you want to include i mean it's able to identify that there are a few objects in your environment which has this particular class defined so just hover over it you can either press, press alt enter or uh, before pressing it i also like to show you uh, Okay, that uh, sometimes it gives you hints also that red uh, uh, button. So you can click that, but here I'll press Alt Enter. And no, something is wrong here. I'll press Alt Enter. Uh -huh. Now, if you see, so this is basically the same as what you will get when you click over here, this uh, red uh, hint. And it, now it gives you an option whether you want to import or still if you want to create your own uh, custom class because it's, it's not a default class in the Android Studio environment or in the default libraries. So you, you can click uh, import 
and then it will give you the options uh, which all that there, there, I think there are multiple options uh, in this jar files which has this particular class defined. I'll choose the first one just for the sake of uh, simplicity and if I expand this I will see that this particular import has been done so this uh, contains this particular uh, 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 class defined and no it's no more that red error. Over here we are get, still getting red, red error and that's because of the exception because this particular uh, uh, statement requires uh, exception to be handled. So I think if I hover over it, it should give me an option. Surround with try catch. Yeah, that's what I expected because to handle the exception, it should surround it with try catch. And yeah, once you click OK and it will automatically form this try catch uh, routine over here, subroutine, and uh, no more error will be there. Anyway, the focus of this uh, video is to just show you how easy it is. Just you copy paste all your jar files in this libraries folder and then right click and add it, or you can Alternatively type also, but I think it's, it will be more simpler to just right click and add it into your particular module and it will also synchronize your Gradle file. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.